nuts. Guess why, Sonia? It, it really bothers me. I've been trying to upload that video for quite some time now, and it just uploaded to YouTube right when I went live. I'm like, wait, I didn't want that to happen like that. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi, Ron. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Sonia. How are you all doing today? We're gonna have a lot of stinking fun today here at the Young's house. Debbie Parker is back. Hello, welcome. Welcome all the new subscribers, every single person. Give me a thumbs up. There's 15 thumbs up and 138 of you here. Welcome, welcome. Wanda McMorris, hello. Betty Johnson, hello. Passion is here, Norma, Norma is here, Stephanie's here, Ron Wilson's here, Jay Marie is here, Victoria, what's for dinner is here, Toy is here, Kim Burgess, Lisa, Tracy, Brenda Hill, Diana, Trina Gale, Paula Jackson, Gregory X, Martha, PH Balance is here, Normal B is here, and Joseph is here, Candace, hello, how is everybody doing? Lynn, how are you? Vivica's here, Rosie is here. Hello, 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 Dolores, Jamari, Cindy and Margo. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Lakia, is, Lakia Young is here, how are you? Teresa Penn and Robert Rose. Guys, listen, I have something special for you all today. And what I have, listen, I'm sharing a secret with you. Oh, I'm sharing a big secret with you. I'm going to show you how to make this. It's like it has honey in it, right? But it's a brown sugar glazed ham, and it is so succulent. It's juicy. It's moist. It's savory. Yet on the outside of it, it has this beautiful brown sugar glaze that gives it that umami factor. Make them say, umami. <laughs> Where would she get this recipe from? Hello, everybody. Give a thumbs up. Listen, guys, give a thumbs up. <laughs> I see everybody that didn't give a thumbs up. Ain't none of y'all giving one. <laughs> give a thumbs up. Let's make the thumbs up match with the people that are in here. We do have 225 people in here, 83 thumbs up. Let's make the thumbs up match the whole time we're in here, okay? Majory, Majori, Majori is here, hello. Carlton Dye is here, hello. Rosie Nix, hello. Little Bit, hello. Hi guys. How many of you are so excited? Saj is back, hello. Pam, hello. Helen is here, hi. Kendra's here, Esther's here, April's here. Catherine, how are you today? Thank you all, everyone. I can see who's all giving a thumbs up. Thank you all. And the people that haven't given one, give a thumbs up. <laughs> back out to give a thumbs up and come right back in. We're gonna have fun today here at the Young's House. I, you know, we got a lot of fun topics. We're gonna have some good laughs with God on our side. Nice, clean fun here at the Young's House. We're also making some good old ham. You gotta have ham for the holiday, right? Citizen, hello. Dolores Coast, hello. I love you too. Thank you. <laughs> K Coffee, how are you? Yeah, this will be a treat, not not a trick. No, 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 no tricks. No tricks. No tricks in my recipe today. <laughs> Ah, uh, Denise, I'm sorry I forgot my thumbs up. It's okay, you can give a thumbs up now. Thank you, Ron Wilson. He says 246 people watching, 131 thumbs up. Evie, hello. Roosevelt, hello. Teresa Howell, hello. Let's see, let me see. I'm getting a notification on my phone here. What do we got? Oh, not much. Hollywood stars, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ron says hello to Jackie. Kay, hello. Joyce Humphrey, hello. I, listen, I hope you guys are having a great day today. Happy October, Monday, 31st. 
Rosie, hello, how are you? Have I missed anything, says Jackie? Nope, not yet. Not yet, you have not. I'm doing fine, LaTanya. Thank you for asking, how are you? Heidi, how are you? Hello. It is a little bit, it's the last day of October. I cannot believe it. Oh, yeah, Debbie Parker says, no, Jackie, we're just getting started. We are. We're just kind of coming in right now, letting everybody get relaxed, you know, get their work shoes off, whatever you guys need to do. And, you know, take the dogs outside, get your ingredients out, whatever. And then we're gonna get started. We'll give a few more people some time to get in before we actually get started. And we also need to give these other people over here some time to get their thumbs up on there. I see ya. I see ya. Oh, I see ya. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, thank you, Adri A Adriana. I, I hope I'm saying your name right. Wendy, hello. Cheryl, thank you. Yes, tomorrow is November 1st. Really exciting. Happy Monday, guys. Yes. Oh, thank you, Brenda. Thank you so much. It's nuts because I didn't do anything too special. But what I have on my side is <clears throat> it's raining a little bit. And when it's raining, you have a bit more curl to your hair. You know what I mean? Sometimes when it's rainy, sometimes when the weather is different, all depending on what the weather's doing. Cause sometimes I can like wake up and my hair's like poof. But today was a day that I woke up and my hair had some nice body wave to it because it's a rainy day out today. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> I see your message. Gina, I made your white chicken chili today. It was delicious. Thank you. Oh, wow. It's been a while since I made that. It was fun to make and it's delicious. Oh, this is the first time you caught the live. Welcome, Mimi. Everybody, welcome Mimi to Gina Young's Live. Welcome to all the new subscribers. And also, welcome to all of the returning subscribers. Sonia, how are you doing today? Jackie welcomes Mimi. Thank you. Oh, they're telling me my Amazon package is on the way. What they told me it was going to be here Wednesday, so that's nice. Let me see. Let me just see. Let's see if they telling me the truth. Are you telling me the truth previously expected on this date? Okay, let's see. Well, it could be my pajamas that I ordered. It didn't tell me which one. <laughs> I love ordering from Amazon. I tell you that. It's so convenient. Oh, my goodness. It is early. Yes, it is. Normally, I um, do lives at 6 o'clock you know, on Saturdays at four. I figured on Mondays, why not do the videos at five, you know? Hello, Gina, I made your chicken pot pie and it was a hit. Oh, that's great. That is great. Yes, Heidi says, Amazon is awesome. Yes, it is. Derek Eats, how are you? Happy birthday, Raymond. How is Raymond doing? Everybody tell Raymond, happy, happy birthday. Do you guys have matching PJs for Thanksgiving? Uh, no, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> yes, I'm making a glazed ham, although it does have honey in it, but it's more of a brown sugar glazed ham, right? It, it kind of makes you think of that honey baked ham that we all love. Guys, I love honey baked ham, and I try to mimic it, in this here recipe. I try to mimic, mimic it in this here recipe and it's it, it's good. It's good and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how easy it's done. So 
here in a few minutes, we will get started. I need uh, those couple people there to bring the thumbs up, up to 240. We got 181 of you that given a thumbs up. You're welcome, Raymond. Happy birthday. Yes, everybody tell Raymond happy birthday. And later on, we're going to sing happy birthday to Raymond. Yes, we are. Brenda says, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait either. This is exciting. Now, the type of ham that I purchased, Gina, is that a spire? Oh, Shirley, you, I was just getting ready to mention it. So, the type of ham that I purchased is a spiral ham, where it's already spiral cut for you. You know, I think it's so convenient. I think it's so convenient to have a spiral cut ham versus the other type of ham where you got to cut it for everybody, you know? So I'm going to show you a beautiful technique that's really easy to do to where when your ham cooks in the oven, all of those pieces don't go sliding off and opening up on you. You know what I mean? So this is great. And like I said, like I told you all in the community post, this recipe right here, it doesn't even, it requires some pineapples if you like or if you want pineapples, you don't have to. But then also, um, we're going to be using some butter, honey, vanilla, and brown sugar. That's it. That's it. That's it. And when I purchase my hams, I do not, let me repeat, I do not, I do not get hams that are raw and you need to cook them like for hours and hours. That's not the kind that I ever buy. I always get the fully cooked hams, and all you have to do is heat them up real good, okay? What's the community post? The community post is uh, where my banner is. Let me show you real quick, and then we're going to get started. Does the bo bone-in ham have more flavor? Oh, bone-in ham does have more flavor always. Always. Anything bone-in is always going to have more flavor, okay? But that's not to say if you have a boneless ham, it's not going to be flavorful because boneless hams are flavorful, right? But to answer your question, if it has the bone in it, it'll be more flavorful. If it doesn't have the bone in it, it can be delicious as well. So I'm not knocking the ham without the bone, okay? <laughs> All right, let me show her the community post. If you go to Jeannie Young's channel, you know how to get to my channel, right? Here is my banner, okay? You're gonna see that right there. And when you see that, you're gonna see home, videos, shorts, live, playlist, and then you can turn it, keep going, you know, take your finger, and then you push community. And then right here, it shows you a message that I sent to you all this morning. And then right here, this message that I sent yesterday was giving you all the um, ingredients. So, if you have subscribed, you press that notification bell, and then you press the all button to get notified of everything that Gina Young does, you would be getting notifications when I say anything. Heck, I could be telling you something really important that you need to know. And if you got your notification bell on, you'll be notified, okay? DJ, hello, how are you? Elizabeth, how are you? All right, this is great. I feel like my lighting, I'm on, let's see. Okay, we'll, we'll fix the lighting once we get started cooking, okay? But yeah, that's how that works. Oh, you're welcome, Jackie, no problem. Listen, if there's one thing that I don't mind, I never mind explaining things so people can understand. I do not mind, uh, I, I do have, must admit that I'm not tech savvy. <laughs> But I don't mind explaining anything until somebody can understand what I'm talking about, right? Okay, somebody says I'm here. Beverly, how are you? Okay, so Tommy says macaroni bake. We made macar baked macaroni the other day. I don't know if you've seen it or if you missed it. I'm just fixing the lighting. Your channel is awesome, says DJ Al. Thank you. Hey, welcome. Everybody, welcome DJ Al to Gina Young's channel. 
Thank you for coming in and joining us. We appreciate having you here with us. Lately, we have been doing lives on Monday, Thursday, and um, Sundays, or Saturdays. I'm all mixed up. Saturdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Thursdays at 6 p.m., and Mondays at 5 p.m. Thank you, Jude. So what Jude has done right here has given a super chat, and this is so nice. You say, keep it up. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. I greatly appreciate it. A lot of people like to know, Gina, how can I do that? How can I send you a super sticker with a great message? Or how, how can I donate to the channel? You can send a super sticker or you can send a super chat, okay? And then pretty soon, next week, you'll be able to become a member on my channel, okay? But we'll get to that. Like I told you all the other day, I'm going to do a whole video on how you can do those things, okay? But that's what you just did. Thank you so much. How's Derek Eads today? All right, I see that the, the thumbs up are almost matching. And I appreciate that. Okay, so Sean is saying, welcome Sean, uh, is saying, you do a hell of a job on this channel, Miss Gina. Keep up the, oh, I missed your message. Keep up the great work and God bless again. Hey, thank you, Sean. I appreciate you. Thank you for coming in and joining us. Thank you for coming into the live. We're going to have a lot of fun today. Going to have a lot of fun today. I'm going to show you how to make brown sugar glazed ham, GD Young style. Okay? All right, get those thumbs up. We'll give it about three, four minutes, and then I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna put my apron on, wash my hands. We're gonna make some glazed ham. And, excuse me, when my ham gets in the oven, excuse me, once that ham goes in the oven, I'm gonna come back around here in front of the camera, and we'll just sit and chit chat until the ham gets done, okay? Absolutely. Yes, the, the baked macaroni, it was a couple days ago. You were baking the macaroni, and it looked awesome because I checked it out yesterday, says Tommy. Okay. Okay, so someone says, this is Debbie. She says, I was afraid to make a ham, but you make your recipes so simple. I think I'm going to try it. Thank you. You're very welcome. Hey, listen, I'm here for you. I'm going to show you how to do it. And this one's so easy. It's so, so, so easy. All right? How many of you are so easy? It's so, so, so easy. All right? How many of you are for cooking with me today? If you are, give me a red heart. Hello, Judith. Give me a red heart in the comment section to let me know that you're cooking with Gina Young live today. Audrey, yes, hello. I tried to bake macaroni recipe for the first time Saturday ever since watching your channel. Um, Gina, I was craving it so much. I had to say, it was the best macaroni I've ever had, and thank you. Thank you, Sharon. I'm so grateful. I'm glad. I'm glad you loved it. I see a nice amount of people that's cooking with me. Okay, this is great. Yes, Adele, this is live. Gina Young is live. I'm live right now. I'm getting ready to make my way around the counter. We're going to get started cooking, okay? Let's do this together. All right, where, if I can find my apron. Uh, so I'll have to tell y'all something funny. I had all plans on wearing a mask for you all. Okay, it was a cute little mask. And when I put it on... I, I guess I have eyes that are too close together uh, because my, the mask didn't fit. It did not fit my eyes. It was like my eyes were too close together for the mask. The mask eyes were far apart. Mine's are close together. So half, it, it just didn't work. I couldn't see. I said, Lord, I can't wear the mask. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you so much. It's so funny because I had someone tell me uh, when I was in high school, told me I had a funny voice. And, and now people love my voice. And, uh, you know, I never forgot that person that told me they, like, basically they couldn't stand my voice. It was irritating, all that good stuff. But now... There's so many of you that say, Gina, I love your voice. Thank you so much. Gina, I couldn't get a ham yet, but I love to watch. Oh, absolutely, Derek. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go ahead and get my microphones on, and we're going to get started. Gina Young style. All right, got the microphones. <clears throat> This ham doesn't take you any time to put together. So I'm gonna go over a whole scenario. If you were to use a ham that was not spiral, what you would do to your ham. Because sometimes you may go to look for a spiral ham and you can't find it. But I'm gonna show you what you need to do if you can't find it, what you're gonna do to your ham, okay? It's easy. All right, we got the microphone on, yep. Microphone's on. Let's get this microphone in. Now, the sound will leave just really quick, but the sound will come right back, okay? Don't nobody freak out on me. All right, you should be able to hear me. Several months ago, oh, they were spiral hands, yeah. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> I'm gathering my computer so I can take it around to the other side <coughs> so I can hear everybody's comment. Please, please, please forgive me if I happen to cough during this live because I've been fighting this cough for three weeks and I cannot get rid of it. I'm not sick. No, I'm not sick, but I've been, I've been tangling with this cough. Actually, I feel pretty good today. Yes, I do. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Sonia. Thank you. I definitely appreciate it. She said, you good, Gina. <laughs> it's so funny. When I read people's messages, I can, I, I read the messages like you would say it. You know, she's like, you good, Gina. <laughs> All right, let's turn this camera around. Let's rock and roll. All right, making sure I got a very good picture. Can I get a cameraman in here, please? Cameraman? Not cooking, with, but okay. There it is, Gina Young. All right, Sharon. Okay, this should be exciting. Can you make sure that we got everything in vision sight? Is that how I wanted to word it, vision sight? <laughs> All right. How did your surgery go? Heidi, I didn't get my surgery yet, but the surgery is coming, and it's coming very quickly. Okay? Very quickly. It will be in November. Yes, it will. Let me wash my hands. I will be releasing the date, just not today. Yes, I'm quickly approaching the surgery date, Heidi. It's coming up on me very quickly. I'm washing my hands. I'm just making sure my hands are impeccably clean. You know how it goes, right? Yes, you do. Uh. All right, I need to fix this camera here. <clears throat> It just doesn't look like it's even. Come look at this lighting, please. <clears throat> this camera. 
All right, everybody. Okay, so now that my hands are clean, the first thing that I want to do is show you, this is the first live cooking show on YouTube I've ever seen. Go, Gina. Hey, thank you. Thank you, DJ. All right, so now, first thing I want to do is we're going to once again go over all of the ingredients, which is just a very little tiny bit, okay? Is the lighting okay with you all? Okay. And the reason why I'm axing, it looks good on my computer here because uh, I'm looking at exactly what you're looking at. I want to make sure because it's a dark day outside and I'm using some of that light, you know, for my living room. All right. <clears throat> so now I have brown sugar that we're going to be using. You can use the dark brown sugar or the light. Here at the Young's house, I always love to use the light brown sugar. Okay. I love to put a hint of vanilla in some good old honey. You need that honey. Let's move these things <clears throat> aside. And then I have some pineapples. Now these pineapples are in pineapple juice. If you have purchased the kind that's in a syrup, don't worry about it, okay? Just next time, get the pineapples that's in the juice, okay? Uh -uh, I can't fit that, Dakota. Okay, and then we're going to use some butter, okay? The butter is going to help to make this beautiful glaze today. Okay, so let me show you. If you can come in on the ham so I can show them what everything's looking like. So this here <clears throat> is our spiral ham. And if I do a number like this, I can literally show you where it's cut. Can you guys see that? Okay. So there are slices all throughout this gorgeous ham. And what we want to do <clears throat> is we want to aim to put our beautiful brown sugar glaze, get it all in those nooks and crannies, all in those... Um, those cuts that they have given us on this ham. Now, we don't want to put this ham on its side because it's already cut. If we turn this ham on its side, all the slices are going to start falling right in the oven. So we're going to keep it this way in this manner, okay? Now, I decided to use this disposable pan. This is a, a deep disposable and it's, it's called a lasagna pan, and really any kind of pan you want to use, as long as it's oven proof, you can use. It, it doesn't really have to be deep because we're not using a whole lot of liquid, okay? But I do feel like, I'll, I'll see what uh, Holly's question is here in a second, but I do feel like um, when you're cooking a ham, you must have some type of liquid. Whether that may be something really interesting, it could be water, it could even be chicken broth, right? When I make my hams, <clears throat> excuse me, when I make savory hams that do not have a glaze on them, I put chicken broth in the bottom and the steam from the chicken broth just keeps that ham nice and moist and gives us some good flavor, okay? What is holly or high, yeah, what's holly axing? Holly, can we use Sprite? Absolutely, you can. Oh, <clears throat> you said in our glaze. Not Sprite in the glaze, but what we're going to be doing with our liquid is I like to put it in the bottom of the pan. That's all we're going to do. And what's going to happen is your Sprite, your Coca-Cola, your Mountain Dew, whatever you decide you want to use. You might want to use Dr. Pepper instead of pineapple juice. Now put a little bit in the bottom of the pan and it kind of evaporates and go all in that meat. And listen here, Ooh, listen here. I'm getting myself all excited, right? So now lift up the ham, making sure your hands are clean. Like I said, we don't want to hold it this way because you see right now how the pieces want to separate. So what are we going to do? We're going to put the ham face down this way into the pan so that your slices do not fall apart on you. How, how simple was that? Oh, it was simple, right? Yes, it was. Okay, so now what we're going to do, let's bring our pan into the equation. I'd like to know before we go any further, <clears throat> is everybody okay? Can you fix that where they can see exactly what's happening here? Hey, 
Amen, Sharon. She says, Gina knows you can't cook without the power of God on your side. Absolutely. Listen, Sharon, you can't do anything in life without God on your side. Absolutely. Any and everything that I do in life, God is always included in that. You hear me? All over it. Invite God all over it, no matter what it is that you're doing. Okay? So now, I already have my pineapples opened. Okay? And I know right now some people are going to say, oh, but Gina, can I use fresh pineapple? Absolutely you can. Right? So if you were to decide that you wanted to use fresh pineapple, you still need a little bit of pineapple juice or another liquid like chicken broth. Sprite, Mountain Dew, 7-Up, whatever you decide that you want to use, okay? So now, oh, Ron says hello to Dakota. Hey, Ron Wilson. He said, hey, um, Joey says, Gene, are you ready for Thanksgiving? I absolutely am. I absolutely am. But um, how my surgery is scheduled, it looks like Gina Young's not going to be cooking any holiday uh, Thanksgiving this year. This will be the first year. This will be the first year. And I'm okay with that because as long as I've wanted this surgery right here, I could care less about cooking Thanksgiving this year, you know? So, but like I said, I'll reveal the date to you guys. Okay, so now what we're going to do, I have this beautiful juice in here. Don't put too much in it, but you need some in there to keep the ham moist. To, so that um, so your liquid can evaporate all inside of this ham. Get you some in there. I'm going to pour some in there, and then I'm going to come in close on the ham so you can see how much I poured in, okay? Can you come in close so the people can see? Okay, let's, let's do it from here, okay? I'm going to use the whole can of pineapples. You don't have to pour it on top of the ham like I'm doing. I'm just pouring it on there, okay? Pour all the juice, and if you want the pineapples in the bottom of your pan, by all means, throw those pineapples in the bottom of the pan. They're going to get gorgeous in there, right? They're going to get so beautiful in the bottom of the pan. And a lot of your family members are going to want to eat those pineapples because there's nothing like a cooked pineapple. Oh, my goodness. Listen, got a little bit of salty from the ham, you know sweetness from the brown sugar and the honey. Okay, so take a look in this pan so you can see what everything's looking like. Okay, so we got pineapple juice, we got pineapples, and a couple pineapples, excuse me, in the can so I can have some later. All right, what's up Gina, says my holy king, how are you? <clears throat> okay, so what I want to do <clears throat> is I want to go ahead, I want to turn my oven on 355 degrees. All right, preheat your oven. Don't, this is all we need right now. Okay, so what, we're, what we need to do, since this is an already cooked ham, when you have an already cooked ham, you got to cook it, right? It's been cooked, but you got to warm it up. So let's get it in the oven 355 degrees until it's nice and warm. Let's cover it with foil. Okay, covering it with foil is going to keep it nice and moist and it's going to help that steam to start happening in your pan, you know? All right, I'm going to look at everybody, see how everybody's doing. Yes, Heidi, absolutely. I don't mind. I'm here for you, Heidi. I'm here for you and everybody else. All right, so now we're covering our ham. <clears throat> this ham is going into the oven, 355 degrees. If you do not have a rack on the middle, in the middle of your oven, then you take a rack from the bottom or the top, you put it right there in the middle. What you're gonna hear me say all the time here at the Young's House is I like to cook most of my dishes, which is probably like 99.9 .9 of my dishes, <laughs> in the middle rack, okay? So this is going in the oven until we can get it nice and warm. Let's do that together, and then I'll read some messages. Thank you, Sonia. Sonia's telling everyone, you know, 
355 degrees. Okay. How's everybody doing? Is everybody okay? Is everybody with me? Uh, there's Mildred. How are you? Drew, hello. <clears throat> Saj says hello to Drew. How are you guys doing today? I hope y'all are having a great day today. <clears throat> doing great, says Bernice. Bernice, how are you doing? <clears throat> okay, so listen. Oh, thank you, Sonia. Absolutely. Okay, so what I want to do right now is I want to show you all how easy it is to make this glaze. If you see me doing something like this, I'm just always checking my microphone to make sure that it's still on because there's a button that's up against my skin and I feel like I'm going to like knock the button while I'm moving and, and the sound goes dead, you know? All right. <clears throat> so now what we're going to do is we are going to use a stick of butter. Man, Gina, that sounds like a lot. It is, but it's the holiday, right? It's the holiday. You bet it is. So let's start off, if you're ready. <clears throat> oh, you do, Rose. You have a cough also. It's like the worst, right? Okay, so what we're going to do, let's take our stick of butter, and you do not want to use too much brown sugar because this glaze can become <clears throat> very, very thick, and that's not what we're looking for. We want it to be spreadable so we can use this silicone brush here, and we can kind of brush the glaze onto the ham just like so in a manner, okay? One stick of butter. Let's get that butter nice, hot, and melty. Turn it on like a medium heat until it melts very well. And now, if you want to, <clears throat> excuse me, if you want to use cinnamon, you can. But for this recipe, I'm not going to use any cinnamon. It, it doesn't need it. But if you want to, you can, okay? I got the uh, vanilla extract, and I also have honey nearby, okay? I want some when it's done, <laughs> says Pasty. Okay, pasty or pasty, thank you for coming in. Ugh. I made pumpkin bread with apple cider glaze. My friends devoured it. Oh my goodness. Listen, that sounds so good. Mm. Tracy Knight says, don't be counting the calories for the holiday. Tracy, I agree with you. When it's the holiday, don't, hey, don't stress about it. But the following day, then you can kind of, you know, worry about the waistline. <laughs> okay, so Mildred says, my sister's name, Sharon, but only through Mary. Oh, okay. Any mustard? No mustard. But I do know the recipe and a lot of recipes that, you know, um, where you cook a ham and you use mustard. You'll rub mustard on it, and what they're doing, they'll rub mustard on it, number one, for flavor, and number two, it'll help to adhere brown sugar on it. So uh, I, so if you ask me right now, Gina, what do you actually think of, um, hold on, guys. What, if you were to say, Gina, what do you think of using mustard on ham? I would say it's great, but it's just not something that I like to use that often. Have you done it before? Absolutely, I have. <laughs> I like to try all kinds of stuff for trial and error, you know, to see if you like it or if you wouldn't like it, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so now that my butter is getting nice, hot, and melty, this is what we're wanting. I'm very, very happy with this. Hold on, I'm going to refresh this. Okay, we're looking good. So now, <clears throat> I want you all to get a half a cup, a measuring cup out, okay? We're going to start off with the half a cup of brown sugar. And then we'll kind of look at the consistency and see if that's the consistency that we're looking for. Sometimes I feel like I may need to add a little bit more sugar, okay? Uh -uh, all depends, okay? 
because like I said, one thing that I'm not looking for, I'm not looking for something that's too, too thick. And I want you all to know that uh, when this glaze cools down, it does get a little thick on you, you know. So when we turn the burner off, we don't want it to be too thick because then it won't be uh, spreadable, okay? Spreadable in such a way where we can't paint the glaze on top of a ham, okay? G Watching Gina's cooking is calming. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, so listen, now that we have some melted butter, let's go ahead, get us some brown sugar in the hunt. And I was gonna say in the honey, but we are using honey. <laughs> get us some brown sugar into that one stick of butter. And I want you all to use a half a cup and I want you to pack it in with your hand. Remember, I told you all how to pack brown sugar by just pushing on it to getting the correct measurement. Okay, just pack it down in there and plop. Yeah, I said plop. <laughs> Go ahead and put your brown sugar in with the stick of butter. Okay, just like so. Pretty simple, right? You bet it's simple. It's simple, my goodness. People think you slaved all day in the stove, you know, over the stove, making this and you didn't. It's so easy, it's like easy peasy. <laughs> Let me wipe up my board here. What time is it? You know what time it is? 5.46, okay. All right, Gina is my therapist, you hear me? Oh my goodness, okay. I love using kitchen brushes, yes, right? It's like the best thing. So now that we have the melted butter, can you come in on the camera, please? Can I get a cameraman, please? Um, so now that we have the stick of butter, the half a cup of brown sugar, we are then going to put some honey in. Now the honey's not the star. If I was making a honey glazed ham, then I would use more honey than more brown sugar. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna do like two swirls around of the honey just for that hint of that flavor, but I don't wanna overwhelm it with honey and here's how it's done. Okay, so check, check me out. All right, there's one, okay, and here's two. That's it, you can't go wrong, you can't mess it up, it's not gonna mess it up, all right? You just put the perfect amount in. Now, when it comes to the vanilla, we don't wanna put our vanilla in too early, guess why? Well, if you put the vanilla in too early, it'll burn off and you won't be able to taste that beautiful vanilla. We put the vanilla in at the last minute and then you can really, really taste it, okay? All right, so that's how that is done. Zander, Zander I can never pronounce your name, Xander D. Dull. I just joined in, y'all, I'm, I'm thumbs up. Okay, thank you. Hello to everyone, absolutely, thank you. Rosalind, Rosalind Walden says hello to everyone and to Gina, hello, how are you? All right, one second, guys. Okay, <clears throat> so now, Come on in, I want you all to take a look. We're going to take a soft spatula. If you don't have it, use a spoon, okay? And I want you to see just what we're doing here to the brown sugar and turn it down. Now you can turn it down. Now that the butter is nice and melty, okay? We have begun to mix in the brown sugar with the melted butter. Just make sure you don't have any lumps. Turn it down on extreme low, okay? You can even turn it down on simmer, because this right here, pretty much done. All right, how, how simple is that? Doggone simple, yes it was. Okay, so now if you feel the need to make more glaze, like you have a super huge ham, then you use another half a cup of brown sugar, and then you could use like a half a stick more 
of butter, okay? So now this right here, after we let it kind of simmer and bubble just for a little bit, this right here, believe it or not, is your glaze. So now is the perfect time to go ahead and put some vanilla in and go ahead and turn the burner off, okay? So I'm going to put two capfuls. There's one. It's going to sizzle because it's water going into that. Let's put two. Oh, and, and the smell, listen here. Oh, it smells like a pineapple upside down cake. All right, give it a nice stir in. And that's it. Gina, that's the glaze? Yes, it is. Now I want to talk about something really, really interesting. I want to talk about if you were to purchase the type of ham that has this pack in it. I do have to step in and say these things are delicious. If you ever want to use it, I suggest that you take it, you put it in there, and, and make like uh, some real good stuff. Okay, that's if you want to. You can do it, but you don't have to. Okay, how about it? Okay, so it's your option. And then if you don't want to use it, keep it in the refrigerator and use it for something else. All right, but these things are great. They taste good to me. All right, so now the burner is off, and I want to show you all the consistency. Take a look. Come here. Come on, take a look. Okay, beautiful. Smells good, looks good. The burner should be completely off. And a matter of fact, we can go ahead and take this, scoot it aside so it doesn't have to still cook on your burner, okay? So now we're gonna let our ham get nice and warm and heat it through. And we're gonna take it out. I'll tell you the perfect time to take it out. After about 20 minutes of the ham being in the oven on 355 degrees, we are then going to take the ham out and do our first glaze using a silicone brush. But if you don't have it, use a spoon and you just drizzle the brown sugar glaze all over the ham. And then your ham goes back in the oven. But when it goes back in the oven, it don't go back in the oven with foil. OK, how about that? Because what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to, you're welcome, <laughs> Sharon, we're trying to make this brown sugar glaze get kind of crispy on those edges, right? So you wouldn't use any more foil. Right now we're using foil to heat it up. We do our first glaze, you put it back in without foil. So we put it back in for 15 more minutes, check me out. And then we take it out after 15 minutes and we're gonna glaze it again. So right now what I'm gonna do, I'm coming around there to talk to you guys while we wait a good 20 to 25 minutes on our ham to start to heat up, okay? Everybody doing okay? Any sides tonight? I'm not making sides with you all, but I do have sides right here. I have mashed potatoes and then I have creamed corn and that's what my family's gonna have with the ham. And then actually earlier I made a pot roast and so that's what's over there. So we got roast, <laughs> we got ham, we got uh, mashed potatoes and the, the corn, okay? All right, so I'm coming around, we can chat. Somebody put a timer on for our ham and in 20 minutes we'll come in and we'll glaze that baby one good time, taking the foil off, okay? I'm ready if you're ready. All right, let's do this together. Having fun here at the Young's house. I'm coming around so we can chat. Go ahead, Gina, <laughs> says Tracy. <laughs> Go ahead, Gina. <laughs> All right, let me see. Sure, pre-Thanksgiving dinner. You bet it is, right? You bet it is. <laughs> oh, you put your foot in that roast, Gina. Listen, guys. Okay, thank you, Wanda. So now, you're hanging in there with me, Denise. Okay, this is great. Thank you, Ron. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. I think he's saying at 619, it will be 20 minutes and it will. Thank you. 
I'm a goofball. <laughs> Everything sounds so delicious. It is. And look how, how simple was it? So simple. So I like, like what I, what I, what I learned is like I said, during trial and error of, of cooking for so long, I used to make too much glaze. I was demanding not to make too much glaze today, you know, because sometimes, yes, 20 minutes, sometimes you can make too much glaze and then you're like, okay, so what do I do with it, all this extra glaze, you know? So that's why I figured today we're going to use that stick of butter, half a cup of brown sugar, and then also uh, the two squirts of honey, a little bit of vanilla at the end. <laughs> Oh, 355 your time. Yep, okay. It's 555 there. Okay. Uh, Gina, using any cloves? I feel like I'm not using any cloves for this recipe. Um, I have used cloves for my ham, but I do feel like most people don't enjoy cloves. I enjoy them. You know, I especially enjoy them. I love them. I love cloves when I make Haitian recipes and things like that. But not everybody likes them, so I kind of leave them out. You know, I leave the cloves out. Yes, I do. But like I said, I love them. Where's the babies? They are, oh, they're on the floor. I'll definitely show them to you all, okay? I During this life, I'm going to have to put them uh, in the cage. Um, because trick-or-treaters will be out and the noise of the kids being outside, everybody making noises and masks and stuff. I don't want them to look out the windows and it freaks them out, you know, and they start to bark. You know, people might ring the doorbells and stuff. So sometime I'm going to put them in their cage, but they love their cage. They have like this huge cage that has a bed in it. They share it. They share it. And then the bottom half has a blanket. So it's kind of like they have a bunk bed in their cage. And so that's what we do during holidays so they don't have to get freaked out. Uh, oh, okay, so Sonia says, Gina, my ham is big like yours. Going to freeze. What a okay, that's great. You're going to freeze it. Okay, this is great. You didn't realize the spiral ham. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, my goodness. What? Clove oil is good. Yes, it is. <laughs> Guys, I think, was that a monster? Was that a monster behind me? Oh, God. <laughs> 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 yes. The now, now, here's what I do have to tell you. They get rubber. They are? Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, here, somebody said, <laughs> Y'all are laughing. <laughs> what? Somebody said, what in the Freddy Krueger is that? <laughs> what in the Freddy Krueger is that? <laughs> uh, Michael Myers hiding behind a waterfall. Oh, Lord. I knew there was some spooky stuff going on in here today. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna take my little puppies here in a second. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go take them right now and put them in a cage and I'll be right back. Somebody said, hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm gonna show you the babies before I lay them down and um, I'll show them to you again, okay? Having fun today at the Young's house. Come here, honey. Come here, baby. <laughs> the other one's running from me. He hears me keep saying the cage. <laughs> say hi, baby. Hey, good boy. Yes, yeah, say hi. I love you, sweetie pie. <laughs> hi, he, sweetie. He want to stay out so bad. He kissing them all. <laughs> <laughs> My husband said, <laughs> Polo wants to stay out the cage so bad. He's kissing the monster. Oh, hey, can you say hi? Oh, yes, this is the babies. I'll, I'll be two seconds and I'm coming right back, okay? Right back, guys. <laughs> Y'all are so sweet. Mommy loved you. You've been good boys. Y'all have fun, okay? 
What in the Freddy Krueger is that? <laughs> oh, y'all can still hear me. That's right. I got my microphone on, huh? Okay, so the babies are in the cage. They got a nice blanket. They got a bed in there. <coughs> All right. Here I am, guys. I'm back. Like I said, please forgive me for the irritating cough. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, every oh, so let me show you. This is what I had. My I didn't realize I had eyes that were close together like that. I I, I went to put this on and my <laughs> I went to put this on and my eyes are too close together. I couldn't see nothing. Look at this. I couldn't see anything. <laughs> I said, well, I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> Thank you, Sonya. Or as Sharon says, your dogs are so cute. Thank you. I tell you what, we love them to pieces. See, the dogs are barking already because they hear people, you know. Uh, thank you, Miss Karen. Thank you, Sonya. Gina, make sure Michael Myers be in the window. Oh, Lord. Dakota's dressed up. My husband is dressed up. And they have a Bluetooth speaker, and they're playing some music. Um, and uh, they have a whole lot of candy out there. You know, a lot of people ask me, they say, Tina, how come you celebrate the, uh, ha uh, uh, Halloween? We don't celebrate Halloween, and we don't look at it like a, not even like a holiday. How we look at it is like giving a little kid some candy, you know? Because I just have to be honest, when we were little, people gave us candy, you know? And I was so excited. My husband has all the amazing stories of when he would go out for Halloween and get you know, like um, pillowcases full of candy, you know, and it's just a time for Dakota to give back, you know, give back to the little kids. And Dakota enjoys passing candy out, you know, and that's all it's about, you know, that's it. Collards from the shack or, oh, <laughs> let me see this. Who's that looking in your window? Oh, Lord, don't start that with me. Collars from the shack are hiding in the fish tank. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Chucky's behind me crawling up the back of your chair. Oh, Lord, y'all gonna make me look at the fish tank. Somebody says something about Chucky is over there by the fish tank. I'm looking, that's okay. I'm looking behind me. I got four eyes behind me right now. <laughs> okay, listen, let me know when the time is up. And when the time is up, we're gonna check our, we're gonna take our ham out and we're gonna do our first glaze, okay? They're trying to scare you, yeah, I know. They ain't scaring me, guess why they ain't scaring me? Because I got God right on my side, you hear me? Yes, I do. <laughs> Donna, how are you? Thank you for coming in and joining us. <sighs> Yes, you know, I watch you a lot. I may not talk on the chat, but I'm here. Okay, Rose, welcome. Everybody, welcome, Rose, and thank you so much for coming in. <laughs> Polo is really chunky in his costume. Oh, I would be scared of my, out of my wits with Michael Myers or Chucky. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody, says Derek. <laughs> Oh, that's your favorite Halloween movie, Saj. Okay. I can hear them. Maybe, maybe I will, once it gets a little dark, because you can see it's light outside right now. Uh, I will, uh, like, take the camera and show you what they're doing. Uh, but I don't know, I don't want to open the door and they have music on and then I get copywritten. You, you know what I mean? So I'll have to listen to the door first, make sure I don't have hear any music. And then I'll see if I can record them because Dakota is, Dakota's glowing in the dark, his whole body. <laughs> 
Yes, he is. <laughs> so they told the kids at the school that they could wear a costume today, right? Dakota has a whole body costume and a, and a face, too. And when he, he decided this morning that he wasn't going to wear the costume, he said he was just going to wear his mask. So when he gets there, they tell him that you can't cover your face. And I'm like, so what the, why would you say you could wear costumes if you can't cover your face? So he didn't get to wear nothing today. <laughs> See, life, how are you? Hey, listen, um, Raymond, you tell me how your birthday is going so far. Tell me how your birthday is going so far, Raymond. Hey, Christopher, how are you? Holly, how are you? My birthday was on September 30th. Oh, okay. Well, happy belated birthday, little bit. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so what I want you all to do when we get off of here, make sure you turn them around. Oh, yours is September 29th. Happy belated birthday to you, Derek. Oh, I, I think I told Derek happy birthday already. Um, I want y'all to check out my video that I did today. Today, I turned around and I made a roast. This roast was amazing. Now, it's, it's a, a roast for the holiday. I do feel like a lot of people are not doing a traditional holiday this year. And I feel like roast is definitely something you might want to make for your holiday or bring it to your family. You know, this roast right here, it fell apart. It was so tender. And when I say it was juicy it was juicy and the flavor was there right the flavor was there you got to check this recipe out and it has some really interesting ingredients in there that a lot of people think you wouldn't use for a roast okay it's not the traditional roast it wasn't easy it wasn't hard to make it was easy and guess what I did y'all been asking me for instapot recipes I cooked it in an instapot yes I did Yes, I did. Okay, somebody said, can you cut the eye holes a little bigger? Oh, <laughs> can you cut the eye holes a little bit bigger? Okay. I thought I seen Mildred. She said something, and I think I lost her message there. Is anyone have they depend? Let's see. Is anyone have their, just in case they have, <laughs> all right look oh no the way this is made it's beautiful though right but guess what one of the ears was missing when I opened the package I was already upset about that right so you see how it's made so you couldn't cut the the eye I would need to cut the eye bigger here because my eye my pupil was way over here so that was weird, but it is kind of cute. I might just hang it in my bathroom over my mirror like a Mardi Gras mask. You know, that's all I can do with it. <clears throat> all right, I, I believe that Ron told me. Ron, did you tell me 615? Oh, thank you, Jan Janice. Okay, put that cat mask on put that on let me see let's see put that on and something cook I, I'm not understanding the message can you bend it from the middle oh, I ain't putting that mask on. I'm done I tried it one time my eyes didn't fit <laughs> so I said the heck 
with it. <laughs> April says holla back, okay? Woo, woo. Gina, is it raining where you are? No, it's not raining, but it's, it's freezing out. <laughs> it is freezing. Thank you so much for this wonderful glaze recipe. I just happened to be doing a bone-in butt ham. Oh, you're doing a bone-in butt ham. And so you were on, so I made it Gina way. Smells good, looking delicious. Girl, I know you put your foot and neck in that, says Judith. <laughs> did you do a video on the roast? I did. And it just uploaded when I went live. So my intentions was not to upload the video when I went live. It, that's just kind of how YouTube worked today. It was just like I was trying to upload it, but it took forever and a day. And then right before I went live, the video posted. But listen, thi mm, mm, mm. this roast <clears throat> in the video, I take two forks after it came out the oven. I did like this, right? And the meat just started shredding like it was pulled pork. You know what shredded pulled pork looks like? Listen, oh my goodness. I never made a, I never made a roast so tender. Never made a roast so tender in my life. I mean, I have, <laughs> and not trying to toot my own horn, toot toot, but <laughs> it was tender and it was something to ride home about. So what happened with your roast? Nothing. You need to make you something. <laughs> it turned out good. <laughs> it turned out doggone good. Instapot, did I say Instapoof? <laughs> I love you, Gina. I love all your recipes. <clears throat> Let me see. I did the sweet pea salad. It was so delicious that I can't get enough of it. Okay, that's great, went Wanda for. I'm so glad. Listen, when I make recipes like that, you know, like my pea salad, I say they're not going to make it. They don't want to try it because it's peas. I'm so glad you tried it and you're telling the world how delicious that was. Thank you, Ron. You know, because some of these recipes are so easy, even if it's something like pea salad. But guess what? That pea salad is the bomb, right? <clears throat> what time are you cooking again? Or, okay, I think your question, is your question, um, <clears throat> when am I going live again? When I'm going live again will be Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <clears throat> and then I'm going live at, on Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 6 p.m. on Thursday, 4 p.m. on Saturday. I'm gonna take the microphone off. Well, well let's keep it on, because we're gonna ready to check this ham, okay? <clears throat> I'm, gonna show you how, I'm gonna show you how to glaze that baby. Listen, I'm gonna show you how to glaze it. I love your pea salad too. I've made it three times. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, Brenda says, I made the video. I'm gonna. Can't wait to make the mac and cheese on Thanksgiving. Okay, Raymond, this is great. All right. <clears throat> yes, it was made in the Instant Pot. Everybody's been asking. I, I should probably turn my phone off because I keep getting every notification that somebody is in the camera. Last year when the trick-or-treaters came, it was so funny because we didn't pass candy out last year. There was like a million kids at the door and they all were looking in the camera and the camera would tell us, dun, 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 you got notification and the kids were looking in it and it was so funny that we could go back and look at all the kids and it was just a ton. It was so funny. Guess what the color got these kids calling him? What do you say? They're coming up to us trick-or-treat and saying, come on, let's go to Big Dog's house. What? What? Oh Lord! The, guess guess what the kids is calling? Guess what the kids is calling Dakota? Let's go to Big Dog's house. Oh my goodness! Dakota said that's what they call him on the bus. Oh Lord! My husband said you do you. <laughs> <laughs> my husband said, you got them calling you big dog? He said, no, that's what they called me. So the kids out there are saying, oh, let's go over to big dog's house. <laughs> oh, Lord. I didn't, I didn't know that. <laughs> that's new to me. All right, here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and do it together. 
let's check. That's so funny. Oh, my goodness. Let's check on our ham. Let's go ahead. And he, he went back outside, but I definitely will tell him that you guys said hello. Okay. All right. Let's flip the camera over. Take your hams out. Hams come out. Foil comes off. Let's glaze it for the first time. Let's do this together. Tina Young style. All right. Big dog. I, I guess that's his name now. I, I guess y'all. Oh, Raymond says the peas. He says, nah. But I, oh, Raymond, I'm telling you, you're missing out. You are missing out because those peas, everything. Okay, Ron, great. I see it's four minutes, but we're going to go ahead and do it now, okay? Oh, they did split, uh, split pea soup, okay. I don't know when the last time we passed candy out, guys. I think my husband is even having a great time, you know. <laughs> it was nuts last year because there was big kids, right? Last year, there was all kinds of big kids, and they were trick-or-treating. And... Um, a ton of them had uh, police costumes on. And the costumes look so real. Let me wash my hands, guys. Anytime you sit down, you know what I mean? And then you come back, you always want to wash your hands, making sure your hands are impeccably clean before you get back started. You know, you don't want to get nobody sick. But yeah, I was like, man, that's a lot of police costumes. Oh, yes, be careful when you lift this up because this baby right here, oh, it's heavy. Yeah, it is. All right. So now here's what we're going to do. Derek Eads says, hello, everyone, or everyone I may missed earlier. <laughs> All right. So now here's what we're going to do. We got some ham. And you can feel the steam. Oh, yeah. You can feel the steam. Keep it. Oh, I wanted to answer someone's question. Somebody said, Gina, I didn't know the spiral hams are fully cooked. Here's what I'd like to say to your question. Or, you know, what you said. I can't promise you that your spiral ham is fully cooked. What I'd like for you all to do is look, I always look at the package. A lot of times, I'll just say it this way, a lot of times the spiral ham will be fully cooked, but I can't promise you that, okay? I'm not making any promises, but the kind of spiral hams that I purchase, they are fully cooked, okay? So now I'm, I'm gonna fix the lighting just a little bit and we're gonna glaze this baby. How many of you are having fun? If you're having fun, let me know. All right, so now we got some glaze, and you might say, oh, Gina, my glaze done thickened up. It's okay. Don't freak out on me. It's okay. No worries. You take the glaze, and you just, look at that. You see what you do. You brush it. Oh, my goodness. You brush it. Oh. If your glaze thickens up a little too much, you go ahead and heat it up. I'm going to heat mine up, okay? Look at that. Look at that right there. Ooh, wait. You heat it up a little bit. And as you heat it up, it'll liquefy once again, okay? Because mine's did. <clears throat> it hardened up a little bit, okay? So how about we turn around? Just get it to liquefy just by heating it. And very quickly, it's beginning to liquefy, okay? There's always an answer for your question. Gina, how come mines did that? Well, remember I told you guys it will thicken up. There's a possibility that that will happen. If so, just heat it up. No worries. And so what's happening right now is it's thinning out once again. And we're back on track. Okay? Back on track we are. Oh, yes. And it smells like vanilla. Mm, this is the holiday for you. All right. 
So now I'm taking my brown sugar. Oh yeah. All right. As it falls down, you glaze it. All right, get in all the nooks and crannies. Gorgeous, okay? Just like so in this manner. It's gonna get crispy. It's gonna get gorgeous. Oh my goodness, and listen here. Talk about having some family members as happy on the holiday. Try this recipe. Try it. Look, 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 look. Oh, yes, you may have to do like I just did. You see how I just poured it right on top? And now we can really get down into those nooks. All of the crannies just like so in this manner. Okay, beautiful, and I'm so happy with this. Oh, make it some, Jenny Young style. Don't miss out, don't miss the train on this right here, because this, hoo-wee, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, so now, so what do you do from here? Well, now that you have um, lightly glazed it, let's get it back into the oven on the same temperature for 15 minutes, and then we come back and take it back out and we glaze it again, okay? Let's do it, and let's do it together. All right, no foil. No foil this time. All right, everybody okay, are you with me? Oh, Janice, thank you, I love you, thank you. Hey, listen, I love all of you guys. Yes, I do. <clears throat> Okay, so I want to show you how this did thin back out. Can you see? Okay, I'm going to show you. All right, I don't want nobody freaking out on me. See how it thinned out? Let's see. I'm looking in the camera to see if you can really see. It has thinned out, okay? Just let it be. You know, take it off the burner for now because we're not ready for it. We'll be ready for it in another 15 minutes. But if it solidifies... Heat it back up on low, it'll be just fine, okay? If you say, oh crap, Gina, but mine's is really hard. I still don't want you to freak out, because look at this. It thinned back up and it always will. If you happen to have an issue, then you can put you some honey in there and listen, your problem is solved. I'm gonna come around and we're gonna talk. Talk for a little bit. All right, I'm coming around. My husband put his keys right there. <laughs> I tell you what, that ham sure smells good. Ooh, that ham smell good. All right, everybody okay? We're back in business. Hold on, guys, hold on. Hold on, let me check, let me check. Hold on one second. Don't go nowhere. me I'm so nosy I am so nosy all right so I went to the front door I wanted to see where my husband and Dakota was I didn't see him at the front door anymore I didn't hear the music so I went to the back I wanted to see where they was I still can't see them I think what they're doing is they're sitting in the back of the truck like um, the truck has like this thing that lets down and then it lets down again, and you can sit. It's like for tailgating. It lets down, and then it lets down one more level, and you can sit there. I think that's what they're doing. <laughs> I'm nosy. I was looking for them. I couldn't find them. I love you, Shirley Clark. Thank you so much. Hey, you've been watching my channel for so long. Thank you. Oh, I found them. <laughs> I found them. Here's what they did. I'm looking at them in the driveway. <laughs> so what they did was they took the lawn chairs from the front porch, and they're sitting in the driveway in their costumes. 
passing candy out. <laughs> Gina, um, you have a jewel in the chat, S scroll back. You have a jewel in the chat, scroll back. Okay, let me see. A jewel in the chat. Okay, jewel. Not as much as I love you and all your videos. I can't explain to you how much I appreciate you. Oh, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate you. Thank you for coming in, Jewel, and joining us. Absolutely. Oh, you're about to feed your two dogs. Absolutely. Okay, so Gianna says, I appreciate you, Gina, taking time out of your day to show us how to cook recipes so we can cook Gina Young style. Absolutely, Janice, that's what I'm here for. I am here to teach the world how to cook Gina Young style and stress-free. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna show you how to cook in detail. Just reminder, daylight savings ends this weekend. Remember to set your clocks one hour. Did someone say something about, um, <clears throat> did you guys tell me something about daylight, daylight savings time was going to be ending or stopping? Somebody tell me that. I feel like I heard that or I feel like some one of you guys told me that. I love you too, Nady, Nadia, thank you. Oh, thank you, Janice. Okay, so Tina is saying, I'm gonna be looking up your oxtail recipe. Absolutely, have fun. Oh, Saj says, yes, we did, Gina. Oh, my Holy King says next year it'll be happening, okay. Okay, so Terrell says, it's not been approved yet. I just, I never heard of that until you all told me, but I, I, I don't know how to feel about that. I just think that it's really interesting. You know, I, I do. I think it's really interesting, you know, because so many things is changing nowadays, you know. I have watched the old videos. You have made some oxtails back in 2018. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll have to definitely make um, some updated oxtails for you. I just tend not to make them a lot because they take forever and a day to cook. You know, and when you're doing a video, if you ain't got all that time, you know what I mean? When you're doing a video, if you ain't got time for oxtails, then don't make them. <laughs> you know, because they take time. You said you like the clock back, not forward. Yeah. Caboose cabin clothes. I don't know what that means. I really wish it would end. I don't like it getting dark. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> use the Instapot, Gina. Ah, oh, I did. I used the Instapot with this roast that I made. Thanks for telling us about changing the color. Yeah, Janice, that was nice, right? Hey, everyone, I called a live. Yay. I am cutting up sweet potatoes to freeze fries and uh, for fries and stir fry, watching and enjoying. Felicia, welcome. Everybody, welcome, Felicia. We thank you for coming in and joining us. So Derek is saying, I brought that up too. Oh, I know you did. You probably did. You said you brought it up to Ron. Oh, thank you, Tina. Oh, she said uh, some states like Arizona doesn't change times. Oh. I didn't, I, didn't, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> you learn something every day, right? I mean, okay, so Susan is saying she made oxtails over the weekend. Oh, hey. Okay, okay, Sue. Honestly, so, so T. Smith says, honestly, I just need a good night's sleep, period. <laughs> I don't care what time. <laughs> Use the Instapot for the oxtails. Oh, you're right. You are definitely right. You're right. You're right. I was wondering why you say use the Instant Pot, Gina. Yeah, you could. Absolutely. You said you don't like it pitch dark at five. I do. I don't know why. But I guess everybody, you know, everybody has their own. I like it getting early, getting dark early because I'm ready for my Christmas lights to get, to turn on. <laughs> I know that's a silly reason, but... I love when it gets dark early. You see them Christmas lights turn on early. 
It hasn't passed. Let oh, okay. You, okay. Love the mac and cheese. Great. Okay. Gina, have you made beef roast or should I look? Gina, have you made beef roast or should I look it up on your playlist? I just did a video for it today, Mildred, and it posted at five o'clock. So check that video out. You're going to love it. Uh, when I tell you you're going to love it, you're going to go nuts over the recipe. And, and listen, the beef, listen, the beef fell apart. Y'all going to make me grab a piece of that beef and show you. Samuel, how are you? Whose idea was it to change the clock back? <laughs> what is wrong with the people? <laughs> it's not my idea. It's definitely not my idea. <laughs> oh, you said you think probably in November the time will change. I made some Friday after watching one of your videos. That coconut milk help. Oh, the coconut milk really wows you because it makes you feel like you're on the islands, you know? They are, but they are worth it. Oh, oh yeah, you're right, Saj. Absolutely. Is it an egg shortage over here? Not over here. Not an egg shortage over here. No. How about orange juice in the glaze? You could absolutely. You could absolutely put orange juice in your glaze. You know, hold on, you're gonna lose sound for a second. I just took the microphone off just for a minute, okay? That way we can plug the camera up and that way we can make sure everything's always plugged in. We got the computer plugged up. We got the uh, microphones plugged up right now and the cameras plugged up. I gotta keep everything always plugged up or we lose connection. Gina, what's your favorite candy? Okay, my dogs are three years old. Um, my favorite candy, I really need to think about that. Let me see. Um, let me think about that. What's my favorite candy? I don't know. Let me think about it. Um, I got to think about it. That, that's really that's a hard question, but I'm going to try to find the answer. Do you make fudge during the holidays, during Christmas, Sarah? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, during Christmas, I've made, listen, Sarah, I made a strawberry fudge and it would knock your socks off. I've made chocolate fudge, peanut butter fudge, white fudge, you know. So um, you will definitely, during Christmas, see me make fudge. Oh, you like Starburst, especially the tropical. Oh, you said now, laters, yeah? Oh, you, uh, okay, Janice says, I love fudge. Oh, you like paydays? Ah, uh, my husband likes paydays. I'm not a fan of the uh, candy bars that have a whole lot of peanuts in them. My husband loves peanuts. I'm, I, I can do with that. Like my husband likes Mr. Good Bar. I can't stand that. Um, I, I gotta, see, I'm not thinking of just chocolates. I'm thinking of candy. So what is the candy that I love? I still have to think about it because I don't want to choose the wrong one. Oh, you love Three Musketeers? Candy corns are, di are disgusting. <laughs> Christopher said, I love candy. <laughs> Mary Jane candies, yeah. Gina, you make any types of good brownies? Uh, uh, Derek, let me tell you this. I... Don't really make a lot of brownies, just to be honest. Now, when you see Gina Young make brownies, it's normally the kind out the box. And they always turn out delicious. So I wouldn't say that I'm someone that really bakes a lot of brownies. Oh, you like sour stuff. Okay. Did you say 38 minutes? What, what, what did Ron say? Okay, three minutes. Thank you so much, Ron. Thank you. Let's see. 
y'all really gonna push me to think about what is the candy that I love. Um, well, let's talk about my candy bar. My favorite candy bar is the Zero. The Zero is the best candy bar ever. And the second best is the whatchamacallit. So I like the Zero, I like the whatchamacallit, and when it comes to candy, I want to say I'm going to go ahead and choose something that broke my tooth off years ago. And that is the, what the heck is it called? Hold on, it's like right on the end of my tongue. Uh, oh, Lord, what are they called? Um, crap. It's like right on my brain. Right, um, what, what are the things? Jolly Ranchers. I like Jolly Ranchers. Now, years and years and years ago, I was sucking on a Jolly Rancher. Lo and behold, the Jolly Rancher got stuck on my tooth, right? And all of a sudden, I, I went like this to get it off of my tooth and it broke my tooth off. This happened years and years ago. Well, lo and behold, I got that tooth pulled out because I started getting tooth fakes. And then I had to pay to get an implant. So back here, <laughs> I got a pretty expensive implant, all because of a Jolly Rancher. Got stuck on my tooth. And when I pulled it off, it broke my, it broke my whole tooth. Yeah, so that's my Jolly Rancher story, and it was not fun. And now I, I got a really expensive implant right back here. <laughs> oh, you like the blue Jolly Rancher? Now, the green one makes me cough. I like the purple, I like the watermelon, I like the cherry. The cherry's kind of sour, but I love Jolly Ranchers. I, I'd like to say the candy would be Jolly Rancher. You like black licorice, who said that? I don't like black licorice, is that right? Sea Life Beauty says I like the black licorice. I'm not a fan of the black licorice. Oh, you don't like hard candy. Uh, yeah, the, the green one makes me instantly cough as soon as it goes in my mouth. <clears throat> All right, everybody. I'm getting my apron on because guess what time it is? It is time to rock and roll. <laughs> it's time to glaze that baby again. Now, sometimes I only glaze it two times. Sometimes I glaze it three times. You know, glaze it as much as you want or as least as you want, okay? That's the fun about cooking at home. You can do what you want and make it how you want, okay? So now when I come back around, thank you, Ron. I come back around, I'm going to wash my hands once again. Take that baby out the oven. Let's glaze it again. If you're glaze, if you're glaze, if you're glaze, if you're glaze is... <clears throat> um, if it's hard, then you know what you're going to do. You're going to heat the glaze up. Let's look at it. I'm going to go ahead and heat it up, okay? It's okay. Just heat it up. <clears throat> Just like so. Beauty, beauty in this pan here. All right, let me wash my hands. <clears throat> so my glaze is heating up. Wild. Oh, I like gummy worms. I like gummy bears. Um, while my glaze is heating up, let's get this out of the oven, all right? Oh, and the ham is starting to get the little crispy bits on it. You know those crispy bits. Starting to get gorgeous because we added sugar to the outside. And that's where you're going to get that crispy brown sugar feel to the outside. That is it's like so delicious when you eat a ham. Right, you're gonna see, you're gonna see, you're gonna see. Woo, you bet you're gonna see it. Oh, let's turn that baby around. Look, come on. Somebody say yes. Somebody say speak, speak to me. Uh, now the sound might be a little different. I'm gonna go ahead, I'll put the microphone on because I know somebody right now is saying, oh, Gina, we can't hear you. All right, it's okay, because I'm going to fix it right now so you can hear me. Okay, we're in effect. We got sound. All right, microphone is back on. All 
All right. <clears throat> Got some gorgeous glaze that I had to reheat because it did, as I said, it got kind of hard, but now it's thin again, okay? I'm gonna use my spoon, okay? And look what I'm gonna do. Ooh -wee. Brown sugar bay. Ooh, yes. That's right, brown sugar babe, all right. Oh, get in them crannies. Get in the nooks, get in the crannies. Let that brown sugar just kind of marinate all over your life. Because <laughs> this ham right now is my life tonight. Oh, it's good. That's all I mean when I say it's my life. I'm just saying how good it's going to be in my life. <laughs> Look at this. This is how it's done. Now, you see that I'm using a spoon this time, okay? Paint it on. Get in those crannies. What's a cranny, Gina? Well, the little nooks, the little crannies, the little slices. All right? Just like so. Oh, somebody say yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. All right? So now we have our second glaze. What I plan on doing, I'm just going to glaze it two, three times. Okay, so this is the second time. And you can really feel the steam coming off of the ham. It looks good, it smells good, oh my goodness. And if I wasn't on camera right now, I'd be going in for a piece right there. Ah, I would, I would. Now, I want you to see, I got a little tiny bit of glaze left, okay? So what I wanna do is I want to make a little bit more, okay? Because for my next time around, I don't have enough. So all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put some honey in my pan and kind of toss it in that little bit of glaze, okay? That's it, nothing special, okay? See that right there? Oh yes, take it off the burner. Take it off the burner. Let's get this into the oven. How gorge, how gorge. And you can really see where the slices of ham are starting to separate a little bit. That's what you want, and in the inside, we got that beautiful pineapple love inside of there. And, and, and it's releasing a gorgeous steam all through this ham that's keeping it nice and juicy. Back into the oven, and then we're going to baste it one more time. And then the last time we baste it, 15 more minutes, the ham comes out. It will not be overcooked. It will be juicy. And this smell, this smells so good. Oh man, it smells so good right now. Oh wait, girl, you something else in that kitchen, you hear me? Mm. <laughs> I know, I know, I crack myself up. <clears throat> Some people say, Gina, you are nuts. <laughs> it's okay. My husband tells me it's a good nuts. He say, he's, my husband tells me I'm nuts. He say, but it's okay. It's a good nuts. It's not bad. <laughs> okay, somebody says yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> Gina, you're not a nut. <laughs> you hear me? Yes. Make yourself. It's easy. You see how easy. And you also got to see, this is what I love about live. Okay, so somebody says, when it comes out, this time, I'm taking a big bite. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh, Gina, do you be talking to yourself while cooking on average? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Not really, but kind of, yeah. <laughs> You're a new subscriber. Your name is Jewel. Welcome, Jewel. Thank you for coming in, joining Gina Young's Live. Once you come into my live, you become family. Everybody, welcome, Jewel. We thank you for coming in and joining us. Okay? Oh, Lee, I want a ham sandwich. Lee says, who wants a ham sandwich? One thing that I love about a holiday ham. You said I talk to myself while cooking as well, too. See? Um... Somebody says, who wants a ham sandwich? One thing I love about a holiday ham 
is the next day or, you know, several days after, I like a ham sandwich on bread, right? Whether it's white or wheat bread, just a little bit of Miracle Whip, and that's it. And I eat the ham cold, and it's like the best sandwich ever, right? How many of you know, how many of you know about that? It's the best ham sandwich ever. Or what my husband likes me to do is he'll say, you know that ham we got in the refrigerator? And I'll say, uh-huh. He said, can you make some ham eggs the next morning? And I'll say, yeah, heck yeah, I can. <laughs> With some homemade biscuits? Listen. Ooh, we it'd be some good scrambled eggs with that fresh ham in there. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Sarah said, I'm going to make some Gina Young style. <laughs> so I said, uh, <laughs> Sea Life says, I want your ham now with mashed potatoes. <laughs> the leftover ham sandwich slaps, says Miss Karen. Yes, it does. It does sound amazing, right, Drew? Toast up some bread, some cheese on the side, potatoes. Oh, girl. Woo, Saj. Oh, my goodness. I want a ham sandwich with honey mustard. Ooh, wee. Yeah, it does sound good, right? Everybody's going nuts over a ham sandwich. Do we have two jewels? We might have two jewels in here. I don't know. But welcome both jewels. <laughs> My holy king said, I will eat the ham down to the bone. <laughs> yes, you would. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Now, when we put the last, you're enjoying yourself watching. Oh, thank you, Shirley. Shirley, I love you so much. I'm so glad you're here with us. And I hope everyone, there are two jewels in here, okay. I hope everyone is enjoying this, you know. I really do. Chew to the bone. <laughs> I just wish that could continue eating pork, but you can't because you're having breathing issues. Yeah, and you'll have to be admitted to the hospital. Oh, Mildred, I hate to hear that. Yeah. Okay, so it is two jewels in here. Okay. Hot, oh, Raymond says hot ham and cheese. The birthday boy said hot ham and cheese. And that right there sounds good. Melt you some American cheese on there. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. How about a ham sandwich with mustard? Oh, man. Listen, make you want to slap somebody. So Wanda said, I want ham now. <laughs> so what I'm going to do when I taste this ham, I feel like I'm totally, I feel like I'm totally going to grab two pieces of bread and some Miracle Whip, and I'm going to eat my ham that way. <laughs> I feel like that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Guys, I love you so much, and I so, so, so appreciate you all. I appreciate, oh, hold on. I think my front door is locked, but he, hold on. You need me to open it? Okay. All right, let me help you. Okay, okay. <laughs> Not, and I seen the door. I thought I was going to have to come help you. You say, yes, indeed, the ham with the mustard. I feel like that's how my husband likes his. Because he likes mustard. I like the mayonnaise. Rye bread. Oh, my goodness. Melt some Swiss cheese. Uh-oh. And put it on buttered toast bun with mayo, lettuce, and tomato. Y'all are making me so hungry. She says, slap Uncle Bobo. <laughs> Okay, let me get this Janet out of here right now, Lord. <laughs> All right. Now you want some ham. Absolutely you do. <laughs> me too. Janet is trolling. Yeah, I got her out of here. She won't be back. <laughs> so, he said, you can smack me somebody. Because I want a ham sandwich. <laughs> oh, we love you too much, Gina. So glad that you are here showing us to cook easy Gina Young style. Absolutely. A ham sandwich with a slide of potato salad. Oh, y'all keep saying the potato salad, and that's really making me want 
my lemon potato salad. I think Ron Wilson said, I think Ron, I, I know you're in here. I think he said he's going to try the lemon potato salad for the, for this holiday. When you try it, Ron, you're going to absolutely love it. Oh, that's how, okay. With chips, <laughs> Norma said with some chips. <laughs> Yeah, there you go, Lizzie. Thank you. Bye-bye, Janet. We'll see you later, honey. Happy, happy holidays. Another one? Is there another one? Oh, Lord, let's get them out of here. Uh. Hey, listen, the devil has no authority over this channel. You hear me? No, he doesn't. Okay, there's a lot of people at my doorbell. Kids. I can't stand it, guys. Ham and Swiss for me. Knock your socks off. What happened to Janet? I got rid of her. Just that quick. Okay, let me see. He said it's another bot above. It's okay, because I know Ron and Sonya will get them out of here. I'll tape that slap in the face for a ham sandwich. No, not on your birthday. We ain't going to smack you on your birthday. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Nadia. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the love. Absolutely. I appreciate you guys. Uh, been wanting to make some potato salad, and it does. Now, listen, we got to talk about something really quickly. I make a deviled egg potato salad, and listen here, if you ain't never in your life been knocked off of your socks, out of your socks, however you want to say it. Try my deviled egg potato salad and listen here. <gasps> oh, tell me if you like deviled eggs. If you like deviled eggs, you would love the deviled egg potato salad. It's so unique. Okay, so Drew is saying, I never had lemon potato salad. Listen, so let me tell you, years and years and years and years and years ago, I, I mean, I'd like to say, this had to be over 20 something years ago, like I was young. But so there was this gentleman that worked at this place that I worked at. His wife had made lemon potato salad. And um, I said, I, Gina, I really enjoy you and everyone on here. Oh, thank you, Mildred. I enjoy you as well. Thank you. Oh, so the guy says, like we had like a potluck. And the guy says, uh, my wife made this potato salad. And I thought, you know, I'm looking at it. And I said, there's lemons on top. He said, well, let me tell you. Right? He was so happy to tell me what she did. And he said, now, he said, the lemons go on top after you make it, right? You love how I say it? <laughs> Thanks. Um, the lemons go on top after you make it. Close it up. Put it in the refrigerator. And then overnight, it's like the lemons release this beautiful yet so subtle flavor a lemon, right? And then you stir it up. You can put those lemons back on top, and then you take it wherever you're going to take it. When you serve it, you can just barely taste a hint of lemon going through this potato salad. And listen here, that potato salad is like the best in lifetime. It's so good. But, you know, if you ask me, Gina, so which one you like out of all your potato salads? Well, what I'd like to say is that lemon potato salad is something else, okay? And what I'd like to say also is you gotta try all of them because they're all good. My loaded potato salad is spot on. But I, I do have to say the lemon potato salad does tug at my heart because that's how good it is. It, it's interesting, right? And it does. Don't serve it that day. So whenever you're gonna have it, make it the night before. Put the lemon slices on top, cover it, let it go in the fridge. You wake up in the morning, stir it, put the lemons back on top, right? 
people go nuts. They say, what the heck? Some people can't tell it's lemon in there. It just got that umami in there, you know. You, you know how to make them say, gone. Where'd she get this recipe from? It's the lemons and it's like a miracle happens. It's like a total miracle. But you gotta try it. You gotta try it. Gina, make some deviled eggs, please. <laughs> I know, I love deviled eggs with ham. I love potato salad with ham. I want potato salad and ham. And if I can't have it tonight, <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> Is a deviled egg potato salad a regular potato salad with deviled eggs instead of eggs? Um, okay, okay. Here's how you explain it. You know how you make the deviled egg filling? out of the yolks, the mayonnaise, and all that good stuff, right? Instead of using mayonnaise in your potato salad, you take the deviled egg filling. <laughs> Check me out. You use the deviled egg filling and you mix it in the potatoes. Mm, mm, mm. Instead of mayonnaise. Of course, your deviled egg filling has mayonnaise and all that good stuff in it to make it taste good. And then you turn around and you cut the whites up of the egg and put that in and you fold. Mm, mm, mm. If you love deviled eggs and potato salad, you're going to love that. You're going to love it. I don't know how long the, the ham has been in and how much longer. Why, why do they call it deviled? I don't know why they call it that. Oh yeah, you always wondered how it got its name. Yeah, you're gonna use a deviled egg filling that you would actually put into the white. You know how you squeeze that into the white part of the egg? Don't do it. You put all of that into the, but, mm, 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 mm. Hoo wee yes, Lily says, ooh wee. <laughs> you said, Derek, get out of my head, says Drew. <laughs> Is it? devil egg potato on steroids you bet it is uh, yeah sarah a lot of people like to say angel eggs i just can't really get used to that name because that's not what i'm used to you know um uh, let's see are here how a, okay i'm not i'm trying to understand your message cube up the ham and make egg bake on Saturday, early Saturday morning. Oh, okay, so on um, Christmas and Thanksgiving morning, you can make like an egg bake. Throw everything into your eggs, throw it into the oven with some cheese. You can put fried potatoes in there, bell peppers and onions, bake it up and it's delicious. And serve some toast or some croissants on the side. That's so much fun. And then also you could do like a French toast bake in the morning, the morning of your holiday. So, okay, so a little bit says, so I think I got to crack the egg and pour it into the bowl. I'm not, I'm not sure what your message is. <laughs> Devil dogs. <laughs> I don't understand that message. What is a devil dog? <laughs> it does sound delicious, Debbie. Yes, because it really is. But like I said, um, when I think of potato salad, the lemon one sticks in my head because it's that good. <clears throat> it does, Sodge. <laughs> I'm late, but I'm here. Okay, you love. Welcome back. Thank you for coming in. Oh, you said it's Drake cakes. I don't even know what that is. Make a video of that, Gina. I I have a video of it. How about a breakfast early breakfast sandwich on pumpernickel? Oh, pumpernickel bread with ham. Yes. Gina, you make the best potato salad. Thank you. There. <laughs> I just put boiled eggs in my potato salad. Yeah, a lot of people do. Now, when I put boiled eggs in potato salad, I put a lot. I, I do. How, Ron, can you tell me how much time? It might not be time, but what I do want to tell you all, I meant to say it, and then I read a message. So we're going to do the last glaze, right? 
If you got a little bit of glaze that's kind of hard in the bottom of your pan, just mix some honey in it, no worries, okay? And we're gonna glaze it like for our third time. Time is up, okay? We're gonna glaze it for our third time, and then when it goes back in the oven this time, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn around and yank the heat up from 350 to, uh, uh, to like 375 because I really want that I, I want the edges to get kind of crispy okay now keep in mind also that it's very 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 important that you never ever cook overcook your ham too much okay don't don't overcook the ham because we don't want it to be dry right where did Sonia go I don't know she might have used the restroom okay All right, let me see. There she is. There's Miss Sonia. <laughs> She's here. She's always here. Did she say yank? Yes, we're going to yank that baby up to 375, okay? Time has passed now. Oh, there she is. Yes, she's there. She's always there. Okay, so let's do this together, okay? I'm gonna wash my hands once again. It's very important you wash your hands every time. You know, because I may have touched my hair. I may have, you know, whatever. Grab my phone. So, <clears throat> taking the time to rewash your hands every time you come in the kitchen really helps. You know, and your family will appreciate that. You know, the fact that they can trust <clears throat> that you're gonna always wash your hands, you know. You want to be able to trust the cook, right? You bet you do. Ooh, wait, we got some stuff going on here. Ooh! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm going to bring this close. You, you see it happening. I know you do. I know you do. You see it? You see how it's happening. So now, go ahead. Let's turn the heat up on 375. All right, we yanked. <laughs> I know she was laughing at my word. Did she just say yank? Yeah, we yanked the heat up to 375. And now <clears throat> we got some more gorgeous glaze here that we added honey to to thin it out. And, and that's the end of the glaze. Yank your heat up 375. And let's do this together. This is the last basting, okay? I feel like I, I, I really enjoyed using the spoon, believe it or not. Believe it or not, I like how the spoon was able to coat the glaze on there. Look at that. Oh, Lord, yes, and thank you. Ooh, wait, and I'm going to bring that camera close so you can see. Those pineapples are receiving. Yes, the pineapples are receiving the brown sugar glaze on top, too. Ooh. Oh, now with this extra, just let it flow. You know how let it flow. Look at that. Oh, get, get everything out of that pan. Everything belongs on the ham. Any little extra will fall on top of those pineapples. Lord, yes. Thank you for today. <laughs> yes. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a 360 because it's so gorgeous. Okay, and, and when, as the ham, <clears throat> excuse me, as the ham pieces begin to open up, you know everything's getting hot. It's getting bubbly, and it's getting nice and glazed, okay? Take a look. Come on and look. And, and that right there, that crispy, that crispy, crispy. Oh, mm-hmm. Mm, you hear it. Mm, mm-hmm. That's what I want. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for an overcooked ham. Some people <clears throat> are able to achieve that crispiness all over their ham. But guess what? It's gorgeous, right? You see the brown all over. But guess what they do? They overcook their ham. I don't need mine to be that crispy if my ham's going to get dry, right? So whatever I achieve in this next 15 minutes, that's what it's going to be. 
If it don't get real, real crispy and golden brown, I'm okay with that because my ham is done. The glaze is still on there. You still have that brown sugar texture. You just don't have that burnt pieces, okay? So we yank the heat up to 375 to see what happens in the oven when we turn it in, when we put it in right now. Let's do this together. Oh, I gotta show you the pineapple, okay? Hold on. I feel like you need to see this. Okay, somebody see? The brown sugar pineapples down there. Oh, look at the glaze, come on. See, that's what you want. That is what you want. All right, let's get this in the oven. And dinner is almost served. I'm gonna take this and put it into another pan. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> I hate that cough that I got. I just happen to have another pan. I want to put it in here because it's getting a little heavy and I would hate for all to lose my juices, you know? So now I feel nice and comfortable. There we go. Get in there, baby. You get hot, bubbly, golden brown, crispy on the edges. And that's it. That's it and that's all. Okay, I want to wipe up some of this honey and brown sugar that we have here. Always clean up as you go. When you clean up as you go, you'll be, well, be stress-free in your kitchen, and that's what I want for you all. I want everybody to be stress-free. I really do. I really do. And that's why we clean as we go. You know, cleaning up as you go just helps you in the long run. It helps you to be happy in your kitchen. And sometimes you can have a messy kitchen and then you turn around and you remember how messy that kitchen was the last time you cooked, you know, whatever you made and then you say, the heck with that, I'm not even cooking because I don't want the clean up. But if you clean up as you go, you, you're not going to have that problem. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to plug my computer in. My computer keeps unplugging itself. There we go. It's, is it plugged up? <clears throat> oh, come on. Ugh, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> Everything nice and clean i got a hot i got dishes that are sitting in hot soapy bleach water we can put all of the spices away you know the brown sugar <clears throat> yeah we can <clears throat> okay 722. Okay, thank you. That's great. <clears throat> and then we're going to be eating. Make sure you did turn your oven up to 375. Um, and let's see what kind of type of crispiness we get on here. Keep in mind, you don't need that brownness so much to where you dry out your ham. Okay, and that's what we've been talking about a lot these past couple days as we've been cooking. Thank you, Sarah. A lot of people, um, a lot of people have been asking things like, Gina, how do I prevent my macaroni from being dry? And I told you all, and, and someone else told me, Gina, how can I prevent my dressing from being dry, and I told you. And so today we're coming in, and we're talking about not overcooking the ham so much to where the ham is dry. Because you want to have leftovers, and if you have family members that heat the ham up, you don't want them to heat it up and it turns out dry because you overcooked it in the first place, right? So don't overcook it. Don't overcook it because you're looking for 
that dark, dark, crispy brown. If you don't get it, you don't get it. If you don't get it the third time of the basting of it, then it's okay. You're still gonna get that mouthfeel. You're still gonna get that brown sugar glaze taste, okay? Oh, okay, so Mildred says, oh Lord. She says, I wish that I could eat pork because that ham is screaming delicious. I wanna cry, Gina. <laughs> Take a bite from me and say, oh, mommy. <laughs> I will, <laughs> I will. I will, and that bite is gonna be for you, okay? <laughs> he said, no more green eggs and ham for me. You know what, my sister would have me, and there was a little boy that lived down the street when I was a little kid, and I believe his name was Joey, and uh, he had a brother named J.R., um, but this is when I was little. My sister would have me and Joey. I think JR was a little baby then. He was much younger. My sister would have us reading the uh, Dr. Seuss Green Eggs and Ham book, and uh, she would always tell us who read the best. <laughs> and I would be trying my best to read that Green Eggs and Ham book like the best. <laughs> Right? <laughs> so when you said green eggs and ham, that took my memory right back there to reading that book and hoping that I was the one that read that book the best. <laughs> How's the trick-or-treaters? Oh, it's going down out there. It's going down. Yeah, it's going uh, down. Okay, 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 that's great. That's great. Look at that. Okay. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's great. Gina, beat two to three cloves of garlic. Okay, let me see what someone is saying. Okay, Gina, beat two to three cloves of garlic and honey. Mix well, add a teaspoon full every day. This will get rid of the cough. Oh, okay, let me see, let me see. Uh, let me read that again, because I'm gonna try it. Beat two to three cloves of garlic. Add honey and mix well. Take a teaspoon every day. This will get rid of the cough. Oh, see, that's really interesting. Thank you, Beverly. Uh, what, what my doctor, when she listened to, listened to my chest, she did my physical, she said, hey, honey, you sound great. I told her, I said, but I'm wheezing. She said, you ain't wheezing. <laughs> it's so funny. She said, you are not wheezing. She said, that is mucus. What I need to know, she said, the cough will leave. She said, you are overall healthy. You know, she's like, you sound good, your chest, your lungs sound good. I said, well, what is that? Why, why do I feel like I'm wheezing? She said, that is mucus. And Ron Wilson told me to take the Mucinex. So I used some Mucinex, and we'll see how it works. So my first day taking the Mucinex was yesterday, and I took some today. So we'll see. Because it is really interesting. So a little bit says, because of the name Green Eggs and Ham, when I was at elementary, she says, um, my teacher used to read it. And that was quite a while since your teacher. Oh, okay, yeah. I heard the antibiotics is also shortage. Oh, is that right? Shell, I never heard that. That is interesting. Yeah, so you said the Mucinex is good. Oh, you said, uh-huh, you ain't going to scare me. I don't see nobody behind me. <laughs> oh, thank you, Brandy. I'm so glad you came in. So glad you came in. We only got a few more minutes on this ham. This ham will be done. We're going to say an amazing prayer. Y'all going to get to see me eat a ham sandwich. A good old ham sandwich with a little bit... Just a little bit of mayo on it. If I had some lettuce, I would actually absolutely put some lettuce on there. But but I would want I would want um, my ham to be cold if I was putting lettuce on it. But the ham's going to be hot when I eat it, you know. Oh, you're 67. You still have your book <laughs> for that. <laughs> Are you still singing happy birthday? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Are y'all ready to sing happy birthday to him? Let's do it. If y'all ready, let's go. 
And so here's what you can do for him is when y'all sing happy birthday, give him cakes and candles and hearts and all that stuff. The same thing that we did for Ron Wilson uh, last week, okay? So if y'all are ready, let's do this. We are singing happy birthday to Raymond. Let's go. And you can type it out as well. All right, let's go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Raymond. Happy birthday to you, to you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Enjoy your birthday. Enjoy your birthday. Happy birthday. Absolutely. Very nice. Enjoy your birthday. Yeah, because that was so much fun when we sang happy birthday to Ron Wilson. Oh, you're very welcome. Absolutely. <laughs> I just put a little happy birthday message. There you go. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, with all that garlic, the cough may go. Oh, so are Mr. Young. Yeah, he, he'll smell the garlic on my breath and he'll run the other way. Oh, my goodness. That would be a lot of garlic. But I, I will. I, I want to try some other stuff because I really want to break up that, uh, what she call it, phlegm? Or, or what does she call it? Mucus. So it won't be too long and our ham will be done. Won't be too long. We're going to have a good ham sandwich. Now, this recipe is definitely for the holiday. You're going to love the flavor. And then also drag that ham through that juice at the bottom. Because not only do you have the pineapple juice at the bottom, right? But the ham itself has let off amazing saltiness, right? It has. It's let off a beautiful saltiness in with those pineapples. You just drag your ham through there. Oh, man. My family loves it that way. Oh, you never got that many birthday wishes. Yes, that's great. That's great. I'm going to try my best to do that for everyone, you know, when we can. If we know your birthday's coming up, we'll do the same thing like we did with Ron. Absolutely. Gina, you should, let me see. <laughs> There's a ghost watching it. I need to close the windows. <laughs> Four more minutes. Okay. Been in the kitchen with you for about a year now. Thank you, Yolanda. Thank you for coming in. It does. The macaroni and cheese with the ham does really sound good, right? Yes, it does. Oh, I can see <laughs> he's lit up out there. <laughs> He got a lot of candy still left over. Yeah. I'm looking at Dakota. Mm -hmm. Here they come. Here come a gang of kids. Look at him. He enjoying himself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Today is your grandson's birthday. He turned 12. Oh, tell him I said happy birthday, Mildred. That's great. Yes, it is. Any Tootsie Rolls? I, we I don't think we had Tootsie Rolls in ours, did we? Nope. We didn't have to. When we had, we had the candy bag that we had. We peppermint had Patties, Kit Kat, peppermint Kit Kat. patties, Kit Kat, Snickers, Mars Bar, Milky Way, Reese Cup. It had everything in it. Grand. Hundred grand, but it did not have. What did, what did they say? Uh, oh, it didn't have the Tootsie Rolls in it. You're going to Walmart tomorrow and buy all the candy. You know it's going to be on sale. Yes, it is. Uh, 
that mucinex is every 12 hours. Okay, okay. Oh, that's great to know because I didn't know. I think he said four more minutes. We're going to be taking the ham out. Honey, I got all type of stuff over here. You see, we got roast, potatoes, corn. Okay. Uh, hold, hold on, guys. We'll get some ham later. Okay. Let me, let me turn this. Let me heat this up. No, I'm going to put it in the microwave. Oh, you? Okay. Yeah, I put mine in the microwave. Okay, that's great. Okay, guys, I'm not going too far. Okay. I'm still here. Let me check on my ham. All right. Can you move that when you're done? Yeah, back. Okay. All right, everybody, I'm back. Oh, yeah, just fine, sure. There's a bunch of people in the driveway with Dakota. Yeah, or they're coming up to him. <laughs> take it with water. Okay, so is it, do I take it with hot water? Oh, you say, yes, hit the Walmart candy on sale. I know, because they have it for pennies, right? That is a great idea. Okay, may the Lord Jesus Christ in heaven above look over you and use your hand to protect Gina as she prays over this food. Oh, thank you, Sharon. That's very nice. Mr. Young is hungry. Yes. Oh man. He yes. is. Uh, he's eating right now. He's he's, he's had. He said. He said he's starving. He's, starving. he's having roast. Mm -hmm. He's having cream corn. He's having mashed potatoes. And that's it. I tried to totally stick it out for Halloween with the kids. He tried to stick it out for Halloween. He left Dakota, left Dakota outside. But Dakota is having the time of his yeah. life right now. And we're watching him in the security system right now. <laughs> so we can see everything he's doing. He's glowing in the dark. <laughs> he's glowing in the dark. He's literally glowing in the dark. <laughs> Peanut brittle is delicious. I think it's that time. I think it's about that time. So we're going to get our ham out. I, I say we give it about three, four minutes. And get you some butter for your potatoes. I got one minute. I got yeah. Because the sky... Let's see. Gina, I love that old fashioned. Oh, yeah. Uh, see, I'm not a fan. I think my husband would like it, but I'm not a fan of peanut brittle like that. My husband loves peanuts. So peanuts, I feel like peanut he. Butter. Peanuts, peanut butter. All that. I feel like he would love peanut brittle. But mm -hmm. I, I like peanuts and I'm okay with them, but I'm not a fan of them. <laughs> Time is up. Okay, yep, I'm going to go check on it here in just a second, okay? It does. Peanut brittle will hurt. Yes, it will. It will hurt your teeth. Yes, it will. <laughs> I see him. Dakota is lit up. His whole face is glowing in the dark. <laughs> Okay, so somebody says, Gina, you ever seen a shiny movie? I, I haven't. Oh, and chocolate smoothies. That sounds good. Gina, you can also try turmeric and fresh ginger tea. You're not a fan of anything to uh, peanut, I think she said peanut, peanut butter either, yeah. Okay, guys, listen, you would not believe right now how much, how beautiful the ham smells. The ham smells good. Ooh, did you get some of the juice from the roast? Okay. Candyman. Oh, you like Candyman, Saj. Okay. What's all these cars? 
There's a bunch of cars. Why is there cars out there with the kids? They better know I'm watching them too. I'm watching, the, I can see the whole neighborhood. Guys, I can see, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can see the whole neighborhood. I'm watching them too. Where do you get the big ham from? The ham actually came uh, from uh, Meyer. I never shopped there, but I was not able to find um, a ham at Kroger. So I turned around and said, let me order somewhere else. He got a big crowd in front of him right now. <laughs> Do it. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I was so happy that they had what I was looking for. Turn around, Kroger's didn't have any ham. They didn't have no ham. And I thought, what the heck? Oh, yeah. How they doing? No, he's doing good. He was like, I talked to him about 10 minutes and he was like, let me get back over here. You need another margarita. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Oh, I, uh, Robert, I love Fiddle Faddle and Crunch and Munch. Like, that's something that I totally love, and I haven't had it in a while. There's a whole gang in front of the, in, in the yard with him. <laughs> He's going to get to see where, how adults feel when they pass candy out. <laughs> He's, they, my, my husband said he's having the time of his life out there. <laughs> So, okay, let's see. I love cheese popcorn. I, I like cheese popcorn too. Yeah. Oh my God. This is yeah, that sounds good, doesn't it? Cheese popcorn. Who's this person right here? I think we need to get somebody out of here. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, you can go. He talking about somebody talking about a Mustang. What is? I don't know what they talk about, but they can <laughs> they can go. <laughs> All right, let's get the ham out. Let's go ahead and say a prayer. Here's what I'd like to do. We're going to say a prayer, okay? After the prayer, I'm making a ham sandwich. I'm going to give you all the close-up. I'm going to give you all a big old bite, and I want you to see how gorgeous this ham is. And we're going to flip it over. Remember we cooked it upside down so the pieces didn't fly off, you know, open up? But we're going to set it up so we can get our heat pieces off. Heavenly Father, we'd like to thank you for today. <clears throat> and Lord, we thank you for every day. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for every single person in this chat. We thank you, Lord, for everyone that's going to come into this chat. We bind the devil away from our lives in Jesus Christ's name. Let that devil know he stands no chance. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your mercy, your love, your time, your understanding. We thank you for peace. Please give us peace over our minds, Heavenly Father. We need you in our lives, and we can't do anything in life without you. Thank you for your many, many gifts and your blessings yet to come. Please, once again, forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Thank you once again for the roof over our head, Heavenly Father, the food that you give us, the peace and the joy that you bring us. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen again. Amen and amen again. Amen. Time to take the ham out. Time to take the ham out. And we go. Uh, yes, they can. Yes, they can. I don't have paper towels. I'm sorry. Okay. Yep. You're just gonna. You're just gonna pull it apart for yep, them. Yep, I got okay. Come on, y'all. Love you, baby. I love you too, sweetheart. I'm right. watching him in the camera. Right, I get it. I can use that. Use what? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah, every once in a while you have to click. Uh, I'll do it. I got you it. want this? Okay, I love you. So you're going to watch him? Yeah, I got it. Okay, enjoy your food, baby. Yep. I'm flipping the camera around. Yep. All right, let me close that cabinet. I don't want y'all looking in my cabinet. Yeah. I don't want y'all looking in my cabinets. My cabinets is a mess. All right, let's do this. Ooh, I can't wait for you to see it. My husband just got a piece of roast for the dogs. He rinsed it off. <laughs> he rinsed it off. Oh, my goodness. He rinsed it off with a whole lot of water. 
and give them a little tiny piece of roast. Okay. Now this right here, this is a ham. This is a ham. All right, let me turn. Okay. I'm not going to be having, ooh, that's hot. I'm not going to be having the cream corn and the potatoes right now because I want a ham sandwich. <sighs> I don't have to watch Dakota anymore because my husband's going to watch him in the camera. Somebody, somebody, somebody say amen. Ooh, I'm bringing you in. I'm bringing you all up in here because you need to see what can happen if you make a ham the right way. Somebody take, 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 take a picture. Take a pic, take a picture. Come on. Amen once again. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn around. I wanna turn the ham on the other side and you can see the other side. Just, you know, you just if you're curious, this is what the other side looks like. Look at that baby right there. Chad, listen. This is what a ham's supposed to look like. Okay? Oh, get the bread. Get the bread, Gina. Get the bread. <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. Let me wash my hands. I'm washing my hands. All right, all right, all right. All right. Does it look good? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Good eating. <laughs> I should do a Medea on you. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to get some bread. Okay, let me turn my, good baby, good, <laughs> he's in the basement, socks coming off, yes, when you see people put socks in the comment section, what they are saying, if you don't know, is this is so good it knocked their socks off. So they put socks all up in the comment section and it's so much fun. It's so much fun. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. So now be very careful. Be gentle. Y'all know how to be gentle. I know you do. Ooh, how am I going to do this? Okay. Let's see. I want to do it in such a way. Oh, that's right. I got two pans here. Okay, just be gentle. Oh, you know how to be gentle. Oh, my goodness. Good Lord. There we go. And now the ham sits up the way so you can, you see, so you can peel that ham off. Oh, I know you see it. I know you see it. Gina, you ain't lying. I know you ain't lying. Oh my goodness. Come on, somebody, somebody. Oh, I don't want, uh, mm, 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 mm. I, I, I don't have the words. I want to say something, but maybe it would be explicit. <laughs> it might be explicit. That's why I can't find the word that I want to say. All right. Oh, ho, ho. Let's see, you want the crispy edge? I know you do. So get you some crispy edges. Ooh, okay. I need a little bit of mayo. Need a little bit of mayo. The song, let's see. Let's see. Ah, uh, thank you, Judith. I'm trying. I'm trying in here. We, mm. I'm showing you how to throw down, Judith. I am, I'm showing you how easy you can throw down as well. Here's the mayo. Mayo on my bread. And see, like, okay, so I, I'm ready to eat right now because I'm starving. But I really wish my ham 
was a little cold because I love a cold ham sandwich, you know, like the next day ham sandwich cold. Got my mayonnaise on there. I do have some wheat bread and I want to make a nice glass of ice water. But my husband actually has some cran, cran apple tropical drink here that I feel like I'd enjoy a little bit more. So let's do that. Then I'm going to come around and we're going to talk. We're going to talk about it. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. I hope you all enjoy cooking with Gina Young live. Yes, I do. No worries about the holidays because there's going to be so many, so many recipes that I'm going to be showing you all how to cook. You hear me? I'm going to show you how to do it all. I'm not just going to show you how to do just a couple. I'm going to get you ready for the holidays, okay? Going to get you ready. Got to keep this nice and covered. I'm coming around. Ooh, I'm coming around. Let me grab a fork. My kitchen is a mess. But you know what? That happens sometimes. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Just clean it when you're done, right? All right. Let me close the blinds before somebody really begins to look <laughs> in those windows. Okay, we're doing okay. I still got my office window open, but we're okay right there. Everybody okay? Uh, <laughs> it does. Thank you. The kitchen looks clean to you. Hey, if it looks clean to you, I'm happy with that. Well, actually, you know, honestly, it's not dirty. I just got food everywhere. You know, I got my cream corn. I have my roast, my potatoes, the ham, and I just feel like if I arranged it a little bit better. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Somebody has to look at this. Now, I haven't assembled the sandwich yet. I have not assembled the sandwich yet. There's the mayo. The mayo is on the bread. Look, look at the crispy. Oh, it's good. Mm, 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 mm. You need this ham in your life here. Stop it, Gina. <laughs> I know it's never ever to. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not trying to tease you guys. I just want y'all to see how, how delicious this is. Pat says, oh my, let's just look at this piece right here. I want you to see how juicy, just how juicy, like this right here. Well, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He was right. Stop it, Gina. Mm. <laughs> mm, mommy, <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. mm. And this, uh oh, sorry guys, we're going to lose connection. Hold on, let's plug this crazy camera in. Hold on. And. This part right here is the glazed part. Can, somebody tell me you can see the glaze. Somebody tell me you can see the brown sugar. 
and the honey and the vanilla all over this part right here. Let's taste. It's a, mm, 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 mm. I see it. <laughs> Wanda said, I see it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Twinkie, don't you say that. <laughs> She's definitely teasing us. <laughs> I'm not. Mm. Bread with mayo. Let's make our sandwich. And quickly, the ham cooled down. I'm just going to fold it over. I'm just going to fold that baby over and put it right on that sandwich. Mm. What the beautiful mayonnaise. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. That's all. I don't need nothing else. I don't need nothing else. I got what I want. Look, I got what I want. I don't need nothing else but the sandwich right here. Ooh. Uh huh. Okay. Mm. 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 Hmm. Guys, now I never bite into a sandwich. And the purpose for never biting into a sandwich, I always pull a sandwich apart. But I got so excited, I just bit into it. Now, my purpose for not biting into anything and rather pulling it apart and eating it is because I have um, retainers behind my teeth. And if I bite into something like that, everything will get stuck back there. So I'm not happy that I did that. I'll have to tear it apart like y'all usually see me do. You know, like this. But that's good. Oh, oh, that's good too. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Listen. Mm. You can't tell me nothing. Mm. You can't tell me nothing. Mm. 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 Come on to the people that love the, the fat. Come on to the people that love the fat right there. Oh, I'm about to go to town here. I ain't ate nothing all day. I'm starving and this ham is good. Oh, mommy. Mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Chow. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I'm not even playing. This sandwich right here is the best sandwich ever look at the look at the look at the look child who all you need is some chips with this chips maybe a pickle mm. 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 this sandwich so good i forgot the coat is outside I forgot the coat is outside by itself. <laughs> but I know my husband's watching him in the security system. <laughs> Gina, my stomach rumbling. Oh, and, and Mildred, I took that bite for you. Oh, I took that bite for you. Mm. 
Mm. Oh my. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Listen, I am so stinking happy right now. Gina, are you, how much are you selling it for? <laughs> how much am I selling what for? The ham? How much am I selling what for? Mm. Let me open up my sandwich so you can see the mayo. Oh, had mercy. Mm, mm, mm. Listen. Something's happening with my camera here, guys. I, I'm not, my camera's gonna die. Mm, mm. Okay. Okay, I think the camera is hungry. I yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Listen. <laughs> If, if you want to make this for your holiday, if you want ham for your holiday, there's a glaze. If you want ham, slap the table. Okay, somebody says, Gina, that sandwich is so, is, is good. Go slap the table. Okay, slap. Slap in that hurt too. <laughs> Girl, mm, you got me hurting my hand over here. Mm. But I tell you what, it's worth it. Mm, mm, mm. If you want ham for your holiday, mm. the sandwich is amazing, a little bit. If you want ham for your holiday, you may want to try this recipe. It was so easy, Miss Karen. Look at this. Look at it. That's the part that I want. Oh. Mm. 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 Y'all can't tell me nothing right now. Mm. Mm -mm. You can't tell me nothing right now. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. My sandwich is almost gone. Oh, and thank you, Heavenly Father, for this beautiful ham today. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. I'm making some. Oh. <laughs> okay, Coffee says, I don't eat ham and I just slap the table. <laughs> yes, honey. Listen, I, I might tell you no lies. Look at that. The dogs went downstairs with my husband. I'm just so happy right now. <laughs> Listen, have you ever had something so good make you feel like you want to cry just a little bit? Like just a little bit. Like you don't want to cry boo-hoo cry. But... I mean, it tastes so good, and you just start you just start to think, like, dang, I wonder if anybody else tried this recipe. <laughs> I wonder if anybody else tried this here recipe. Ooh-wee. Mm, 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 mm. I caught you. I knew you were talking about the puppies. I kept seeing you. I kept seeing you talk about them, but I didn't know what you were saying. Something's wrong with my charger, guys. Hold on. It's 
if my if my camera goes out again, then we're gonna lose connection. I hope not. Whew, I got this little last bite here. I found the ham at uh, Meyer. Mm hmm. It's moving or something. I don't know what y'all are talking about. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! That little but that that little. I named your ham Paula. Oh, okay. Listen, this little bit right here, I can't eat it. I done stuffed myself. Thank you, Father, for this beautiful meal. I truly appreciate it, Lord. Thank you for your many, many blessings and your blessings yet to come. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. I love y'all. And guess how much I love y'all? From the bottom of my heart. From the bottom of my heart. I have not decided what I'm going to be making on Thursday, okay? But whatever I'm going to be making, I'm going to be posting it in a community post. I feel like something's wrong with the charger here. So I'm going to get off so I don't lose connection. It's going to be a holiday recipe that you are going to want to see. You're going to want to cook it with me. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'll put it in the community post telling y'all. What I'm making on Thursday, I'm going to tell you what I'm making on Saturday. Make sure y'all come in and join me. We're going to have a lot of fun, okay? Jeannie Young is going to bang out all the holiday recipes you ever wanted to know how to make. And I may just come in on Saturday and make a dessert. A holiday dessert that everybody's been asking for. But I don't want to get off of here without giving y'all a big old hug and y'all giving me a big hug back, okay? I love you, I love you, I love you from the bottom of my heart and thank you all for everything. Give me a hug, guys. Give me a hug. Ooh, that ham has got me feeling so happy right now. Give me a hug. I love y'all so much. I appreciate you. <clears throat> yes, absolutely. I'm so proud. I love you too, Denise, and I love all of you. I'm so proud the way the ham turned out. Really, I am. I am ecstatic. And I cannot wait to wake up like 12 midnight and have a ham sandwich. <laughs> a cold ham sandwich, right? So, I love y'all. Be looking out for Thursday's video. It's going to be... Uh-oh. Sorry, guys. Be looking out for Thursday's live. It's going to be at 6 p.m. I did like this. It's going to be at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursday. It's going to be a hol holiday recipe. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And as always, God bless you all. Thank y'all for watching. Good night. I love y'all so much. I'll see y'all Thursday. Oh, but you know, I'll see you tomorrow because I'm making holiday recipes on my channel. Be sure to watch the videos too. Watch the videos too. Good night, y'all. I love you. Thank you all for the love and the hearts. Bye-bye. I'm seriously going to go check on Dakota outside, okay? Love y'all.